Okay, yeah, this is uh, my first video uh, since my hospital stay, and um, looking forward to getting back in action. And I thought I'd start off with, I had a, a new subscriber uh, make a request uh, that I go back and revisit the uh, AGT performances that Angelina had, and specifically kind of focus on the family's reactions and so on, because it doesn't get a lot of attention. That's why I named this one Angelina Jordan and Family, uh, and 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 this this is a, the videos are provided by Kaleidoscope. Uh, they do a really nice job. They have a high quality video, so I decided to use theirs. Uh, there's all kinds of other reactors that have, um, you know, the AGT performances up, but Kaleidoscope for some reason seems to have a higher quality. Anyway, so thought, well, why not? You know what? I haven't revisited those in a while, and what a special moment in time that was, the AGT uh, thing, um, <laughs> performances. And as we get into the second and third video, we're going to see more of Angelina's family, their reaction to her performance and success there. And, you know, Angelina's the first one to give credit to her family. She loves her family. Uh, family's important to her, and they're, they're, the way they support her and, and the, the, the bond that they all have is absolutely, uh, it's awesome, it's fantastic, it's beautiful, it's, it's a wonder to see. And I think it's such a big part of her ability to be successful is that she knows she has that love and support no matter what, no matter what, okay? And that's, that's the key. And it's always going to be there. And, and no matter what, okay? So somehow, you know, that gives you, when you have that kind of, you know you have that kind of support, you, you, you can be fearless. You can you can do whatever you want to do. You can give it your best shot. And you, you know you got a, you got a, a soft place to land regardless of how it goes, okay? But Angelina, you know, she's quite confident, but she's also very humble. And that all comes from the family. And when you watch her in this interview, this is what to me impresses me about Angelina, is she's thoughtful in what she says. It's heartfelt. It's from her heart and her soul. It's not scripted. But she's so, um, at 13, she's thoughtful enough to not just babble on like I do, okay? <laughs> and where does she get that from? We're not going to see uh, Angelina's mom in any interviews in this videos, these videos I'm doing right now, but when she has been interviewed, she, Angelina is like a, a carbon copy. They, they're they very thoughtful in what they say. They say enough, they answer the questions, but that's, they don't say too much. And that's, that's so intelligent. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Everybody has their own style of doing things, right? So let's go ahead and get busy. I've been talking too long now. Let's go ahead and watch this. You guys have all seen it, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, this is the interview. This is great. My name is Angelina Jordan. I'm 13 years old. I come from Norway, and I'm a singer. When I was little, my grandma played jazz music around the house. I just couldn't get enough of it. My mom wanted me to sing Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star, but I was like, no. <laughs> I just love jazz. It was such a unique sound to it and so special. When I was seven, my mom finally let me audition in Norway. I was just this little girl with big hair and lost teeth. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What happened? I won the whole show. <laughs> I just felt like a princess. My dream came true. <laughs> I've had over 400 million views on YouTube and a lot of success, but I'm still waiting for that big moment in America. Right, three more to go. Since I was very little, I just wanted to sing for Simon. I really want to impress him. That would be so amazing. And this is the biggest opportunity of my life. I really hope to win the show. You won once, right? 
Yeah. You think you can? I hope so. Miss Angelina Jordan, go out there and show Simon what you got. All right. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh. old. So you are now 13. And 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be? Okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay, time out. Back up here just a little bit. Too bad that's in the way. But it is, so we'll deal with it. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to freeze frame it here. For those that aren't familiar with Angelina's family, this is mom. Her name is Sarah. Uh, for those that are like details, uh, S A R A. <laughs> Unfortunately, behind this thing uh, that's telling us about the second part, Grandma Mary is right here. That's uh, Angelina's grandma. This is her sister, Juliet. And this is her uncle, Mike. Okay? Now, all throughout Angelina's coming up, up until the current day, um, Sarah, Aunt Mary, Uncle Mike, and Juliet, for the most part, they are, have been, whenever you see any of the earlier videos of Angelina, all three of them are there all the time. Aunt Mary, or Grandma Mary's generally filming things. Uh, Sarah, I would say, is kind of making sure everything goes well. <laughs> and Uncle Mike is, a, technically, I guess he's the manager. And uh, Juliet, as she's gotten older, Angelina, in one of her first podcasts that she did, credits uh, Juliet with being basically like, She's in the background making sure everything is going smoothly. She's like a, a road manager, okay, whenever there's anything going on. So Juliet's active behind the scenes. And if you've seen any of the videos of Juliet, Juliet's uh, quite a dancer, actually. I think she's got a lot of dancing uh, skills in, in her. And, uh, you know, it all comes from the music, too, right? So this is actually the end of part one. It's over. It's only like a couple seconds. There's not much that happens after this. But this is just the interview part. We're going to go ahead right into part two. I'm going to make a second video, and then there'll be a part three, which is the third video. And I just wanted to introduce you, to, if I could, to the to the family. Unfortunately, this stuff here is in the way. I'm not sure if this will go away or not. Let's let's do this. I mean, I don't want to, you know, get rid of the ads necessarily, but. Up to the mic like you're going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. drama. My name is Angelina Jordan. I'm 13 years old. I come from Norway and I'm a singer. When I was little, my grandma played jazz music around the house. I just couldn't get enough. Okay, so we're going to go back to this one. This is a picture of Angelina and her grandma. See how grandma didn't get the, in the previous shot. We'll <laughs> give her a spotlight here with Angelina when Angelina was younger. So yeah, this is Grandma Mary, and uh, Grandma Mary's been there the whole time. As a matter of fact, most of the videos, I believe that most of the videos we have of Angelina when she was younger, Grandma Mary uh, is the one that took the videos, okay? So she's been uh, recording and documenting Angelina's entire life. Well, she's a grandma, okay? So a lot of grandmas do something like that, and uh, they try to, you know, they're very usually very proud and very happy to have a granddaughter. And or grandson, it wouldn't matter which one, but in this case, granddaughter. And you know, she she's then over time she's been uh, showing us some of these videos. And what impresses me about the family, and uh, you know, especially at Grandma Mary on her website, she's got two. 
uh, maybe more, but it's two Mozarts, uh, Angelina Jordan fan club Mozarts, Grandma Mary site, and then she's got the latest one, yes, slay forever, slay queen, slay. <laughs> I can't, I don't I don't know them. You can look it up on TikTok. Just look up uh, Angelina Jordan. You'll you'll find it. I'll try to put it in the description box. I can't remember the name that well. I'm getting old, you know. So, yes, yeah, slay queen, slay forever. I think it is. Uh, sorry about that. And so Grandma Mary's been there the whole time. And you probably didn't notice in the early part of the video when uh, Sarah was in the audience, you know, sitting in the audience. But some people, Angelina, as she's gotten older, she's gotten, uh, sometimes she wears blue contacts, right? And some people were saying, yeah, well, I don't like the blue, the brown, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, <laughs> there doesn't have to be necessarily a reason or, or a why, but Grandma Mary has blue eyes, and so does Mom Sarah. I don't know whether they're natural or whether they're contacts. It doesn't really matter. But, um, you know, so Angelina gets blue eyes, too. I think that's kind of a natural thing. If their mom and grandma both have blue eyes, why not me if I have a choice, right? So uh, whether or not that has anything to do with the choice, I don't know, and it doesn't matter. To me, Angelina is a beautiful person, period. Blue eyes, brown eyes, whatever color eyes, it doesn't really make any difference. So... Um, I think it actually, and sometimes when she has those real bright blue ones on, I think they're actually quite stunning. In fact, I tend to prefer the natural, whatever she was born with, I tend to prefer the natural stuff. But, you know, in a, in a case like that, you know, what young girl isn't out there experimenting with, you know, how they look and trying to look, you know, their best and all that? Uh, they all are, right? So, and that's fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a natural course of things as far as I'm concerned. So I won't get into that too much, but Grandma Mary, she's kind of my hero because she has taken all these videos. I've been on a mission to do uh, find rare and unseen videos, and Grandma Mary's the one that actually took probably all of them, or most of them, and uh, has posted them out there for us to, to see. And I, I credit her with that. I think it's genius, actually, because what it's done is, I, I feel like I'm Angelina and her family, are a part of my family more than some of my own family is because I don't I don't have videos and pictures of my own family. Some of them don't live far away, but I never see them, you know. And uh, it's just the way it is, you know. Life runs away with itself. They got their own lives. I got my life. We don't see each other very often. It's a shame. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, wrap up this first section. Um, thank you very much for watching, and we will move on. I'll be getting. Uh, I'll be working on the second video as this one's getting uploaded. So. Uh, there's a total of three. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know I talk too much. I'm going to, I'll put, I'll put, eh, okay, I won't, I won't say anything. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.